Today we will talk about the undefeated athletes from Georgia, the recent sensational championship, the victories and the few failures of Livan. Surprisingly, he also has them. Strange results and much more. But before that, as always, sit back, enjoy my Ukrainian accent and let's go. Recently, there was a championship called the King of the Table, where Livan Saginashvili faced Devon Larat. We won't review it for a long time, as the score was 6-0 in Livan's favor. It was completely one-sided fight, but no surprise here. Livan is 33 years old. His weight is almost 180 kg, his biceps is over 60 cm, while Devon is almost 50 kg lighter and 15 years older than his opponent. If we are talking about the absolute category in arm wrestling, then you can weight as much as genetic allows, and any equality is out of the question. There are many examples in arm wrestling when lightweight competitors defeated heavyweights, but in most cases it was a specialized competitor who simply tried to get up against the heavyweight, who did not have the necessary experience in wrestling, but Levan combines all his strengths in this regard. Let's go over his strength records very briefly, which I summarized from Kirill Sarichev's and Larry Wilson's videos, where Livan was tested on all kinds of equipment in order to find out how strong he really is. So Livan pressed 210 kg at Sarichev's channel, with the feeling that he was just pushing an empty bar from his chest, but he admitted that his record was 260 kg for one rep. He lifted 140 kg on his biceps, and that is deadly for somebody. The next thing that surprised me the most, Livan began to pull up, where his own body weight in general plays a huge role. And it is rare to meet a guy in the gym who can pull up with own body weight over 180 kg. And for Levan it seems very easy. As for specific exercises, Levan has no competitors. On this video, Larry Wills is trying to move a vertical block with his fingers. This is a very difficult exercise, which you just need to try to understand how uncomfortable and painful it is. Larry Wills had 41 kg. And now the main question, what do you think, how much did Levan? There is no answer to this question, Livan lifted the whole block. And then there were several more weights put on top of that, which made 81 kg in total. And there was no place to put more weights, so they decided to stop. Livan also tried himself in the Larry Wilson's field, in exercises designed for strongmen, where the first exercise was lift the lock over the head. And after a short demonstration of technique, where he had some problems, but he still managed to get to 1 42 kg and also did 112 on 6 reps, but he refused to do legs. But let's not blame him, arm wrestling is not a sport where you can brag about your strong legs and more likely Levan decided not to do what he cannot do. In general, we can conclude that the strength of this athlete is so far out of reach and there is no competitors for him at the moment. Going back to the non-competition sparring and famous fight with Larry Wills, where he had to wear 4 hard rubbers to resist, I suggest I suggest you to listen to Devon Slarat reaction on this fragment. I actually don't think that I have ever in my life witnessed a display of arm wrestling strength that is this great. I don't know what is going on in Georgia between uh, Gennady and Levon. You'll see Levon having two green bands and I think it's a purple band. Uh, so that's like an additional, like, I don't know, like 200 pounds of pressure wrapped around Larry Wheels, who's quite strong. I've never seen anything like it. I know to work out with those bands without even a person is difficult. Uh, that's a different level. Wow. <laughs> so impressed. What a video. Such fights like to be filmed by bloggers, because it is really spectacular. For instance, Sarichev, who in his best form weighted as much as Levan, could not compete with him even with two hands. But let's face it, Saginashvili has not failed a single round in the professional arena in the last five years. I want to put the accent on it, not a single round. In one of his interviews, he was asked as a joke, what would you do if you lost all six rounds to Devon? To which he replied, I'd quit the 
sport. I do not know if he said it as a joke or not, but at the moment he really has no worthy opponents. And if he lost to someone with such a devastating score, I'm sure it would mean either a serious injury or the opponent would have to be much stronger than Levan himself. I don't know about you, but I find it very difficult to imagine such a person, even visually. The only one really worthy opponent for Hulk was another Hulk. And of course I'm talking about Denis Teplinkov. Once they were even at the same table and measured each other's anthropometry. And it turned out that Lee Van exceeded Denise in almost everything. Fingers length, wrist width and weight. But at such level as these two, such advantages could easily be negated by experience, preparation for the competitions and technique. However, now due to Denis health problems, such a fight is hardly possible. So is Lee Van totally invincible? Let's hear the answer to this question from Devon Lara. Everybody's beatable. Levon is incredible. He is what this modern peak of arm wrestling represents. There's Dennis in the background. <laughs> He's like, I want to be back in there. <laughs> Levon has a lot of bases covered. I mean, he's curling 300 pounds with one arm. I mean, the strength that he shows for arm wrestling so far ahead of the field is, is very, very strong. But it's absolutely possible. And it's true, let's quickly discuss those wrestlers to which Levan lost. And although it's hard to believe now, but Tseginashvili once lost to Krasimir Kastadina from Bulgaria. It was 2016, the European Championship. And on the same competition he lost to another Georgian, Gennady Kvikvina, where he crushed Hulk with his triceps. It says only that at those competitions Levan was not ready and was far from his peak conditions. And the third time Tseginashvili lost to an athlete named Sabine Badulescu in 2017. After that, there were no failures. Of course, if we take spectator interest, it would be much more entertaining to see competing of two giants of equal strength, because it is such a confrontations that make the sport exciting and interesting. At the moment, the interesting of the audience was only due to the media personality of Devon Larat and Levan as a top athlete of his time. However, the sparring itself was not interesting to watch. It was boosted only by a trash talk between these athletes, but no more than that. Well, that's it for today. Tell me how you like this video with Levan Saginashvili. Smash that like button if you enjoyed my video. With you as always was Fyodor Chepki. See you later.